Difficult economic situations often inspire innovative changes in business. But one small company is flourishing thanks to some old-fashioned tactics it employed during the Great Recession. The nation's dire financial state forced many businesses to liquidate. But the staggering economy is what boosted Jacksonville Business Journal's readership. Our print circulation right now is higher than it's ever been. Um, and I attribute that to, uh, first off, a, a very good staff um, who knows how to go out and find interesting news. Um, but also, uh, in the recession, I think business people uh, really w needed business news more than ever uh, because uh, having that critical information in a, in a timely fashion uh, was even more important when, when business wasn't so good. Although the numbers of subscribers had increased during this time period, the Business Journal did suffer some losses. We, we lost a lot of money um, in, in the recession in terms of ad dollars, so um, we had to cut our staff uh, in the newsroom quite a bit. I, when I walked into the newsroom in, in June of 2008, um, I think there were 13 people in the newsroom, and today there are eight. Not only had the economy changed, the face of newspapers had changed too, and print journalists have made adjustments to their reporting styles. I think they have to think about um, two ways of doing their job, uh, or two ways of presenting their information, let's put it that way. Um, they have to think digitally, they have to think urgently and immediate, and when they find something out, they have to get it up on the website and know how to do that and how to do it quickly and accurately. Um, the second part for a print journalist is you've got to know how to change gears and for the print product to do a more in-depth story, to do a more explanatory story, and to really tell people not just what's happening but why it's happening. Um, so you've got to have those two talents, I think, to go into print journalism these days. Tablets, smartphones, and social media have become the three hottest platforms in both news and ad sales. About 150 daily newspapers across the nation have paid digital content, and more are expected to adopt similar models. The Jacksonville Business Journal has made a stronger online presence in the last three years. We are still a weekly paper with a digital presence, but we got to move very quickly to being a, uh, a website that puts out a weekly paper. I mean, there's just no, no two ways about that. Their online strength is helping the weekly paper connect with a younger demographic that's been tough to reach. But, you know, there's a real Mm, there's a real disconnect between people, I would say, 35 and younger, um, and print. Uh, it's not really what they're used to. It's, it's kind of stodgy to them. Um, it's not urgent enough for them. So uh, that's, a, that's a tough nut to crack, but we're, we're doing the best we can with it. Despite all the digital upgrades, the Jacksonville Business Journal's editor believes the weekly paper isn't going anywhere anytime soon. We have a very specialized audience of business people. I mean, they know what they want, and they don't, they don't want the comics, they don't want the funnies, they don't want the sports pics. They, you know, they want to know how they can take advantage of business situations that are developing on the first coast. And we can offer that, and we can offer that quickly on the web, and we can offer it more in depth in the paper. And uh, there's a lot of people who want that in-depth uh, component to it. So I'm, I'm optimistic about the future of the paper.